Hi everyone, Mary Zarnecki here with this special three-part edition of Sticky Note Marketing. Today we are on part two of three. Yesterday I spoke about the first part, which is all about you. So the reason I'm doing this special three-part edition is obviously we are in a time of uncertainty and change. This is an evolving situation that's happening in our, in our environment, in our world, in our country, in our local communities right now. And I know that it can be very challenging whether you are a student now having to learn from home, whether you're a professional still trying to grow your career and, um, you know, be successful in your job um, in a remote working environment, which might be new to you, or if you're a business owner and professional, trying to understand how to continue to grow your business in this time of uncertainty. So as a remote worker and um, virtual <laughs> business owner, hey, Angela, thanks for jumping in. Since 2007, I felt compelled to share some of the things that I have learned over time that has helps me the most. Also, I understand that as a marketing professional, and especially one that deals with growing your profitable authority and visibility and sales virtually with the kind of technology that a lot of us are going to be using now, um, I wanted to be able to provide you with that resource. Um, so for those of you watching, I'd love to find out whether you're watching live or on the replay, let me know how this uh, COVID virus has impacted your business so far, whether it's significantly impacted it somewhat or not yet, you're not feeling it yet. So feel free to share your opinions below, whether you're watching live or watching the replay. And also tell me where you're watching from. I always love to know where our community is based. So like I said, yesterday, I talked about part one, which is really about you getting yourself and your mindset and your support system all in place because we can't help others, whether that's our family, whether that's our community, whether that's our clients, whether that's our teammates, whether that's our <laughs> com company, we can't support others until we have uh, support for ourselves. So that's yesterday's episode. If you didn't check that out, feel free. I'll post the replay below. Today, we're going to talk about part two, which is all about your space and your system. So the things that help you do your thing. So whether you are a student now <laughs> trying to learn from home, whether you are a professional now trying to manage your team and manage up sometimes in a virtual remote environment, or you're a business owner now trying to figure out how to basically fill that pipeline when you can't do live networking events, you may not be able to meet with your clients live and in person, and you may be exploring new ways to serve your audience in a virtual way. So I wanted to talk specifically about some of the things that have been most beneficial and impactful for me, having worked remotely since 2007. So first and foremost, I know that a lot of people are being introduced to new technologies, things like Adobe Connect or Zoom or Blackboard for students. A lot of us are now having to learn new systems and technology. So here's the thing, the invitation that I'm giving you and the, the permission I'm giving you is to give yourself a little bit of kindness. Learning these new systems can take time and it can be confusing and overwhelming. Take advantage of the amazing Google and the amazing YouTube. There's a ton of trainings out there. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good, but there are great video tutorials that are going to help you navigate this uncertain time when you're trying to learn potentially new software tools and technology, whether it's mandated by your job, something that you're trying to implement as a business owner, but give yourself a little bit of grace. This is my permission to you to do that. Now, if you have the option, if this isn't a mandated software change, um, I would give you also the invitation to consider maybe not making massive tech changes in your business right now. So for example, if you are an entrepreneur or a business owner, don't go radically changing your platforms in this time and this environment. Now, I know there are a lot of platform and technologies out there which are wonderfully and very graciously offering discounts um, for their programs to support a more virtual learning and sales environment. And I totally applaud them for doing that. However, I'm also giving you the permission <laughs> and the grace for yourself to not feel compelled to have to all of a sudden upend your business and put yourself onto new platforms. So if it is mandated and if it works for you, if it feels good for you to implement these new technologies, definitely take advantage of you know whatever opportunities you've got if not, also give yourself the grace to not have to absorb a ton of new technology while we're absorbing everything else that's being thrown at us. 
All right, so that's number one. Um, so the other thing I want to invite you to think about is how can you streamline um, your processes? So um, things, if you have support, if you have a support team and there are things that you're doing um, over and over again in your business that you want a teammate to do or you want a virtual assistant to do or you, you're looking to outsource to someone, leveraging something like a Loom video and recording it once so that you can hand that uh, tool or technology or to do off to someone else to give you a little bit more bandwidth while maybe kids are at home from school or something else will allow you to take these things off your plate and streamline your process. Even if you don't have a team supporting you and you're a solopreneur or a small team or professional still trying to manage all of your responsibilities in in, in addition to all the new things probably on your plate, also think about how you can streamline. What are the essential things that are going to move the needle either on your impact, your profitability, your sales, or your ability to deliver either for your company or your clients? So what are the essential things? And be very clear and focused on what are the things that are essential, what are the things that are nice to have, and what are the things that, you know what, this week, we're going to put that on the back burner. So give yourself the permission to really look at your activities, your uh, your systems, and, and give yourself that detox of, look, these are great ideas. These are things that are wonderful, but they're going to be longer term benefits, longer term impact. And right now I need to focus on the short term wins. Um, that will help you both mentally and when it comes to your impact and in sales. Also, I want to give you the permission or invitation to think about your, sa your space. Now, there are a lot of people who are used to working from home like myself, and I have a dedicated space for my work. Not everyone has that luxury and I understand that. So if this is new to you, working remotely or managing a team remotely, try to find at least a dedicated space. If you don't have space in uh, where you live, in your home, your apartment, your condo, uh, your yurt, <laughs> wherever you live, um, at least when you're transforming a public space or a family use space into your workspace, do something intentional about transforming that space and that time. It will give you such a mental boost. So I haven't always had a dedicated space. I used to have to share um, space with our common family area. But for me, even doing something as simple as putting down a placemat, putting down a special tablecloth that's only for my work time um, or workspace or using an essential oil or putting you know a special color on putting shoes on but making your space meaningful you are a professional you have expertise and you cannot shine for other people if all of a sudden there's dirty dishes in your space and you're kind of being inundated by this so give yourself some professional space to work operate and create this impact so those are my big tips for you guys today. I would love to continue the conversation with you. I'm going to post the link down below to our free Facebook group, especially during this time. I really want to foster a community in there where you can come, you can brainstorm with other like-minded business owners. I want it to be a safe space where we're exploring. I don't want it to be a space where we're talking about fear mongering or passing on, um, you know, kind of false information. This is That's not what this community is about. This community is about, however, supporting professionals, supporting entrepreneurs, supporting people who are charged with maintaining growth and visibility and building this profitable authority, even when we're dealing with a, a time of uncertainty. So I invite you to join that community and continue the conversation with me over there. Like I said, whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay, let me know what's going on in your business um, so that I can best support you. I am actually in the process of developing some new training um, that will allow you to utilize low cost or no cost marketing uh, strategies to continue to increase that visibility. So if that's of interest to you, stay tuned or drop me a DM and I'll put you on the fast action list. I look forward to supporting you tomorrow with part three of this special part series. So tomorrow we're going to talk specifically about some marketing strategies that you can use to maintain or grow your visibility and authority, whether you're a professional looking to maintain that corporate visibility and personal brand authority, or you're a business owner looking to figure out a way to maintain that connection and grow your audience, even in this time of, of craziness and uncertainty. So again, wishing you all healthy vibes and you guys all healthy vibes from uh, Oregon wine country here. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.